well, after I got, like, while I was at school, I do internships in, like, different companies. I worked with, like, a fashion designer one summer. Um, it always involved, like, commuting into Manhattan mm -hmm. when you live outside the city. And I didn't love working in New York City. <laughs> so after <laughs> I graduated, I wanted to find something I can do in Westchester. So I started doing freelance graphic design for a couple of yoga instructors and fitness trainers in Westchester. And that led me to working at the Lululemon store in Westchester. And from there, I started doing photography for the store. So my main job for them was every week, they'd send me out to do a photo shoot with one of the local trainers in the area. So I do the photo shoot with the trainer and I was in charge, like posting it on their social media and posting like their weekly newsletter with new arrivals. Um, so I did do design and photography a little bit. And then after doing that for about like two years, I wanted to be a fitness trainer. I was like, I can do this because I've been photographer, like photographing them. And yeah. then I left Lululemon to get my yoga teacher certification. And then I also got my CrossFit level one certification, started coaching CrossFit and teaching yoga. Cool. Very cool. Now, how I've, I've never even attempted to get a yoga certification. And so how do you get that? Like, how is it very hard to attain at all? Oh, you had a yoga school. So I had my 200 hour certification. So all different certified yoga schools have different ways to accumulate the hours. They can do something super intensive over the course of like, I don't know, what's the shortest range. It could be three weeks or whatnot, or you can like spread it out throughout a year. It depends on like what the school offers as long as you accumulate the 200 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And I know you have a YouTube channel too, that has some yoga videos on it. Yeah. So are you, are you looking to like get back onto that at all? Or what, what are you thinking? I haven't updated on the while. I started that over like quarantine. Um, I think I have like 25 or 30 videos up there. So I just filmed mm -hmm. like a bunch of yoga classes to post up there. Um, it also like when I used to, I haven't taught in a studio in a while. I teach all remotely for my private clients for yoga, but it was a good way to give a preview of the type of yoga I teach before someone hires me to teach a private class. Yeah. It's like promote the brand pretty much. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is what I can do. And if you like it, let's go for it. Yeah. One of the styles I used to teach um, hot power yoga. So my classes online are mostly like restorative classes, like for athletes. Okay. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And then you said you got your CrossFit level one. So what, what made you get into CrossFit? Um, also the dilemma, they make you try different fitness classes. So I remember my first CrossFit class, like all my coworkers were obsessed with CrossFit or like they'd go to CrossFit class and they'd never heard of it. And I remember at that time I was doing yoga every day. I just used to do Bikram yoga every day mm -hmm. for a couple of years. And I went to CrossFit. I was wearing a sweater and like yoga pants. And I had no idea what to expect. <laughs> and then I just loved it and got a membership. And signed nice. for the open like a month into doing CrossFit. I think I started January. So my first open was the 2014 open. And, like every wow. movement there was like my first time doing it over a squat of 65 pounds. Or like I remember there's one of the workouts I got 11 toes to bar. Like that was my first toes to bar. <laughs> wow, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's really fun. cool. Yeah. So um, what – like what was what was it the camaraderie of like everyone being there and like kind of supporting you that made you kind of stay because obviously if you do some of the workouts you're you know you're absolutely dead and you're like what the hell just happened but you know what made you actually stick with it uh, I think it was the competitiveness of it I'm a pretty competitive person <laughs> mm -hmm. and I like that like you did the workout like your name's on the whiteboard and your scores on the whiteboard and you can see like what other people got <laughs> yep so I liked that and I think that's what got me to start going yeah um, and then so. what 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 made you start like what made you notice that you were actually like pretty good at this uh, I wasn't pretty good for a while I couldn't do any I couldn't do a push-up when I first started CrossFit um so like 2014 to 2016 I would just like go and take class and like was learning the movements wasn't super serious about it and then starting like end of 2016 I like really like there was a group of like competitive athletes at the gym who would work out during open gym hours and follow like a comp like training program mm -hmm. and I wanted to do what they were doing so I started getting individual programming from one of the coaches at the gym I started to count like getting a nutrition coach and I started tracking my macros and then once I started doing that, that's when I started to improve. 
mm-hmm. more so in like the six months of like individual coaching and tracking macros than like the two years of cross that I've been doing prior. And then it's crazy. Just kept going from there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awesome. Um, so who was, who, was it just a, a guy or a, a guy or a girl from like your box that were just doing like one-on-one coaching with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very cool. And so, um, when, when did the, when did training think tank come around for you? So in 2019, I started working with Adam, my coach at training think tank. And I had been working with the coach at the gym for a while and kind of agreed, like we got me as far as I could go, like on my own. And I needed like a competitive or like a community of competitive athletes to train with, or like kind of like compare your scores to like kind of know where they're at get more information and just needed a coach who was more part of like crossfit and had worked with like other crossfit athletes before so i went to a camp at training think tank but like before i even went to the camp i knew i was gonna want to work with adam Um, my coach from the gym had been coached by adam so that's how i found out about training think tank Okay. So like even well, for like the open, like the year before, I remember like we were texting, like getting scores from like athletes on site here, like to kind of see where I'm at. Cause that's when the open matter. So like seeing if you guys like redo workouts and whatnot. Um, and so my training was kind of sim- similar to the style of coaching from training think tank because um, that's what my coach used to follow. So it's similar to how we programmed. Okay. And so I know you talked to Adam for like a long period of time, but like, when did you guys like first actually meet? Uh, I think I, uh, that February, I came out for a camp and then started working with him okay. at the camp. So in February of 2019. So what were your first thoughts of him in like the program that he was giving you? Um, oh my gosh, I don't know. It was, it was just at the time, like when you first started working with a new coach, it's like testing for a little bit. And it's also, I was at like a different level in CrossFit where like not everything has to be like linear progressions anymore like he didn't have to teach me how to get a muscle up or like how to get it like I could do all the movements at that point versus before like in the years prior I was like still working to get like my first muscle up or like first like yeah pretty like like basic things like that but like I could do everything now so my program started to advance include more advanced movements like in workouts so that was a change as well. Okay. All right, yeah. cool. And then um, obviously training think tank, you have, you know, Noah Olson, you know, Travis Mayer and like a bunch of other people there too. And so how, how was like that group of people like welcomed you in and kind of helped you, you know, step up your game? Um, well, like just being on site, like there's a ton of like really awesome, impressive athletes here and like training here, like everyone's working hard and it's fun doing like group sessions and like pushing yourself against everyone but even when you're doing your own thing at the gym here uh it's still motivating because everyone's just working hard yeah so do you train with like alexis or any of the other girls at the same time or is that like you just train with another guy just to kind of you know not compare numbers um i mean it depends on the time of year it is like in the off season most people just kind of do their own thing because everyone has different things to work on. But now that it's like picking up closer to the season, there's like on-site group sessions two or three times a week where everyone trains together and they're run by the coaches on site. So whoever wants to participate in the group session can. And for the most part, everyone's at the gym for the same time. Like everyone gets here for their AM session around the same time and then PM session around the same time. So you see everyone every day. Okay. Okay. Who, who, like out of like all the people that you've seen train, like who are, who was like one of the best, best people that you've seen work out and you're like, gosh, I gotta, I gotta get to their level. Um, I honestly like don't necessarily think that way. Like I don't okay. like to compare myself to others. I never mm-hmm. like look at someone and like there could be traits from them that like, Oh, like, I wish like my like snatch look like that or like I could rope climb like that, but I'm not like, I want to be them. Like you want to be yourself and like, you just want to learn from everyone. So like watching all these different athletes move and whatnot, like you always learn things. Like you pick up on like things that people do and like that's helpful and inspiring, but it's never like, Oh, like I want to be like that person. Exactly. 